Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my current favorites. I haven't done a video like this in a while, so I just wanted to kind of update you on the things I've been loving. So if you're interested in what I've really been enjoying lately, then just keep on watching. I'm pretty sure my son was like flushing the toilet next door when I was doing my intro. So if so, if you could hear that, I'm really sorry. Um, mom life. He's driving me nuts. I love him so much, but I'm going crazy here, people. Okay, so let's see. Where do, I don't know where I want to start. I guess I'll start with hair since I'm holding this, but this is the Living Proof Dry Shampoo, and I got this in this little set where it came with the full size and the trial size for $24. Um, I really, really like this. Um, I mentioned in one of my previous videos that I was using the Batiste shampoo, or the Batiste dry shampoo, and I used to love it, but after a while, I really feel like my hair got, like, immune to it or something, and it didn't work at all, like, no matter how much I would spray. <laughs> um, but this one's been working really, really well. Um, it really absorbs the oil. It smells really, really good. I will say the smell is pretty strong, though. Like, even if I just spray a little, my whole room smells like it for a while, <laughs> but I mean, it's a good smell, so... That's fine with me, but also, and I think I mentioned this in my last favorites video, but this is the Olplex Bond Smoother, and I've been putting this on pretty much every time I get out of the shower when my hair is wet, and I just put it mainly focusing on the ends of my hair, and I really do feel like my hair has gotten so much healthier, and I really feel like it's because of this, and I have it upside down because once you start using quite a bit, it gets kind of hard for it to come out, so I just put it upside down so it's easier for me to get the product. But yeah, that stuff's been really, really awesome. For skincare, um, my number one thing for this time of year, and I'm telling you guys, I, I don't know if I've even talked about this before, but this is the Kate Somerville Exfolicate. Everyone who comes into work and they're like, I have, you know, my foundations are caking up around my nose or around these dry patches, like, you know, stuff like that. I'm like, what are you using for an exfoliator? Because exfoliation, especially this time of year, is so important. Like, I mean, if you're not exfoliating, that dead skin is just going to kind of sit there and the makeup's going to cling to it and it's just not going to be cute. So, this stuff is freaking amazing. I've been using this for years and I remember the first time I used it I was hooked and every single person I tell to get this they're obsessed like I normally just give them a sample because it is around $65 I think but then they come back and purchase it because they're like that is amazing like you weren't kidding so what I like to do is I use it at night so I'll do my double cleanse and then I'll put this on and leave it on for like 30 seconds to a minute and then wash it off, get out of the shower, put on a good moisturizer. I wake up in the morning, my skin is so soft, all those dry patches gone. And this even actually clears up some of the acne I get along my chin. I cannot say enough good things about this. Um, if you haven't ever tried it before, go get a sample from Sephora. And I'm telling you, you'll tell me that you're obsessed. Like, it's so good. So this is the Herbivore Emerald Cannabis Sativa Deep Moisture Glow Deep Moisture Glow Oil. So I don't know if this is going to focus on this, but this stuff is incredible. I want to say this has a little bit more of a pricier uh price tag that doesn't even make sense. But this is a little bit on the pricier side. I want to say it's around 50ish dollars. But I've been using this most nights, actually, um, and I just kind of squirt a little bit. A little bit goes a long way, which is saying something for me, because my skin is so dry, normally it sucks everything up like that. But this one, a little really does go a long way. And I just, I put my serum on, if I use one or if not, I'll just go straight in with this oil. But it makes my skin so freaking soft and honestly glowy, like I can tell a difference that my skin has gotten glowier. And also, I've noticed a difference in my redness because I do have really red skin. Um, but yeah, since I've been using this, it's looked a lot better. So I really like this. I was scared that it was going to smell really bad since it's like a hemp oil. 
but it actually I don't smell anything at all when I put it on so it doesn't bother me but this stuff is really really good this next thing I know I've talked about this before but this is the Laneige sleeping mask um, and this is in lavender they do have another one that's just their regular sleeping mask I think it just doesn't have a smell but this is like my third thing of this I'm pretty sure but I'm telling you this is so nice and I'm, I'm such a fan of like sleep masks because being a mom and just being who I am I'm I don't want to say lazy but like the idea of having like an 80 step skincare routine every night or I just I can't do it I'm not gonna do it so what I love about this is do my double cleanse, get out of the shower, pop this on, go to bed, wake up, my skin is moisturized. So it's super easy, you don't have to like wash it off and I feel like it's more powerful than a moisturizer. Um, and the smell is really nice too, right before bed, the lavender. So I feel like I'll always continue to buy that stuff. It's just really great and it's only $25 I believe and it lasts me a while so that's been, I'm obsessed with that. Okay, so another thing I want to talk about, I ran out of this, as you can tell, um, but this is the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask, and I just ordered the big size of it, because I mentioned in my last video too that I love, this is a sleeping mask as well, I don't know if I just said that, but I love putting this underneath my foundation because it's so hydrating, but it's also a little bit tacky, so it really makes your makeup last like a long time and I've really missed having it because since I haven't had it my makeup breaks off or like you know disappears a lot quicker than when I used to use this so if you haven't tried this stuff I really recommend it too and I even used to wear this in the summer every day and I loved it like it really kept my makeup in place kept me hydrated and then same for this season winter as well okay so moving on to makeup I am so in love with these House of Lashes lashes and I got these at Ulta and they're between $10 and $12. I can't remember exactly how much they are, but they're just beautiful and the band is like thick to where you don't have to put on liner, um, but they're not too thick to where they hurt your eyes or they're like uncomfortable if you know what I mean. So... I've been obsessed with these. I have a pair on right now and I just I love them so much you guys and I, I feel like since I finally stepped away from like drugstore lashes and I tried these I don't ever want to go back. I'm being serious like they're just so beautiful and I really feel like I mean I just I I don't know. I don't even know what else to say. I just I love these. If you're looking for a good pair of lashes that they're not you know, in the $20, $30 range. These are pretty affordable, I would say, because I have, like, this pair I've worn, a, I mean, a bunch of times. So they last for a while. So I really recommend picking a pair of these up and just trying them and seeing what you think. And also right now, Ulta's doing their 20% off, so you could grab a pair and get that 20% off too. But yeah, if you have tried them or if you end up picking some up, let me know how you like them because I love them. <laughs> Okay, so next I think I'll talk about, so this is the Benefit Hula Bronzer and I know pretty much everyone probably knows what this is, but I've had this for a while and I feel like I kind of forget about it and then I come right back to it and as you can tell, I've hit pan and <laughs> I've been using this pretty much every single day and I just feel like when I'm pale and I'm not self tan, it's like the perfect bronzer for me. So I've really been loving this um, and I, I kind of hate it because the other day Sephora had a sale on this where it was like half off and I didn't buy another one and I probably should have because I feel like I'm going to be out of this one soon. But yeah, if you're my complexion or around there, I really recommend trying this one because I just feel like it's the perfect bronzer. It's really, really pretty. Okay, so next I want to talk about a highlighter, and this is the Jeffree Star Skin Frost in Peach Goddess. And, um, like I said, like, since I'm pale and I'm, I haven't been self-tanning, this has been my go-to highlighter because, um, well, if I can get it open, I'm, like, over here struggling. But, um, it just looks beautiful. 
And this is the highlighter I have on right now. And as you can see, like, it's so beautiful. And I love his highlighters because he gives you, like, that's huge. But it's, you guys, it's such a beautiful, I'm obsessed with it. And a little goes a long way. It's just, I'm, a, I'm obsessed. I know I keep saying the same things over and over, like, I'm in love, I'm obsessed. But it's true, like, I've really been liking all this stuff. Okay, so... For eyeshadow palettes, I think I've kind of talked about this one before, but this is the Natasha Denona Gold Palette. I've had this for a while and I feel like I keep going back to it even though I keep buying new palettes. The colors are just so beautiful. All those really, really pretty golds and I actually am wearing it today, but especially for the holidays, I feel like it's so pretty. And really you could just put any brown in the crease and then pop one of those shimmers on and it'll be beautiful because the gold's in here like i can't even so good so really been liking this keep going back to it but recently i picked up the urban decay naked honey palette and i really haven't been that impressed with urban decay in a while to be honest um i haven't wanted anything from them but I kept seeing this one at work and I was like oh, I really love that honey shade right here it's like nothing I've ever seen before um and so I swatched it and I was like I need that but then I saw someone um posted a picture on Instagram and they had this palette on with a bright red lip it was gorgeous like I was so obsessed so I finally decided to pick it up but this palette is really good. I really feel like Urban Decay has um, gotten a lot better with their formula. And actually the little brush that came with it. I don't know what I did with it. But it's actually really good. Normally I don't like the brushes from them. But that one was really, really good actually. Okay, so the last couple things I want to talk about. So this is the Laura Mercier Caviar Volume Mascara. And this is just the little mini version of it. This mascara is so good. I feel like it's so hard for me to find a mascara that like doesn't, what's the word, like smudge under my eyes and make me look awful, you know. Normally, I was using the Better Than Sex because that's all I had as far as mascara for a while. I'm sorry, but I do not. I don't like that mascara. Uh, I really don't. <laughs> like, it would be five minutes later and it would be smudged all under my eye. I used to never put mascara on my lower lash line because, um, no. It would just smear everywhere. But with this one, I can actually get away with it. And all day when I'm wearing it, it doesn't transfer. It doesn't move around. Like, it stays put. And it actually makes your lashes pretty long, too. So, love this. A lot like I am so excited that I finally found a mascara that doesn't make me look like a raccoon so <laughs> okay so these last two things I'm very passionate about I'm just telling you right now so this is the Mac retro matte liquid lip color and it is in the shade feels so grand <sighs> you guys if you're looking for that perfect holiday red I got you girl it's this one I'm telling you like it is so pretty and like honestly the applicator is awesome when I first thought I was scared but it's so thin that you really can just like trace the outline of your lips so easily like you don't even need a lip liner in my opinion but that's it it's so beautiful you guys and like I wore this in I'll probably be posting that video tomorrow but in my holiday glam look oh my gosh you guys like I'm telling you and the formula of these, I have worn this color probably like three-ish times now. And every single time, I eat a lot, drink a lot. I'm always drinking Diet Coke normally. <laughs> like, I always have a cup in hand. And it wouldn't, it like barely got on the straw. Um, we went out to dinner last night and I was wearing it and I ate a lot when we left. Looked like I just applied it. Like, it is the stay power is so good on these like I'm in love I actually bought a couple more colors too just because the formula I was so impressed with it so I'm telling you the best holiday red out there okay <laughs> okay so this next one is the Marc Jacobs liquid lip cream and this is in the shade fawn over me so first of all 
so sad about this but we don't sell these at sephora anymore um i remember we used to but now they're on sale for 16 dollars on mark jacobs actual website um so i did end up picking up another one of these in this shade recently because he also had 20 percent off that 16 dollars so because this is like my go-to nude like my favorite nude of all time it is such a beautiful shade i'll swatch it for you guys but the formula is like so comfortable it feels like you're not even wearing like anything like it's just and they smell really good but that's the shade right there i'm telling you i wear this all the time because it goes with anything and I wouldn't say that that one is very long lasting because um, I do have another one on my lips right now, the same kind, but it's in a different shade. Um, and I will say it doesn't last like crazy long or anything like that. Um, it stays a little bit, um, what's the word? Not tacky, but you know what I mean? Like it's just very hydrating, super comfortable. Um, so I've been loving those. I wanted to pick up sh like more shades, but I was like, I need to calm down. But yeah, I wanted a backup of that color because I'm telling you, it's it's my go-to. So um, I thought I just got like lipstick in my hair, but so yeah, um, that is it for now. I've gotten quite a few things recently, so um, but I want to do a separate video and do kind of like a haul of things I got um, for Black Friday and Cyber Monday and all that. So, oh, okay, wait, 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 one last thing. Super random, and you're probably like, Peyton, why are you showing me a cup? But this is the cutest freaking Christmas cup I've ever seen, and it's got little trucks and little snowmen. This was a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Like, I'm telling you guys, don't sleep on the Dollar Tree, okay? Like, it's got good stuff. This was a dollar, and I feel like I never drink things unless they're in a cup like this. I just love little cups like this. So this would be even like a good Christmas gift for someone and it's only a dollar. So I wanted to share that with you guys kind of random. Oh wait, okay. Oh my gosh, I have one more thing. Can't believe I almost forgot about this and then I should be done. <laughs> but okay, so for those of you who don't know who she is, Casey Holmes. So she is a YouTuber and I love her, but she has a boutique and it's called Rosie Days Boutique. And so this is like a sweatshirt um i got it in an extra large but i've been wearing this i'm not even playing around every single day and what i love about these <laughs> is like i don't know if anyone else is like me surely but i hate bras like when i have to put a bra on i immediately get in a mood because they just really hurt me and i can't find one that fits right and i just i hate them when you wear this i feel like i can get away with not wearing a bra so every day pretty much I've been just like throwing this on over my shirt or whatever and I don't have to wear a bra and I'm comfortable so love this it's really warm but it's not too warm to where you're like sweating to death it's like just the right amount but she has these in a bunch of different colors so but yeah I've I'm not even kidding when I say I've been wearing this every single day of my life but <laughs> okay so yeah that is everything I've been enjoying lately um I yeah, that's everything I've been enjoying lately. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.